so travelling after Brexit part two. So today I wanted to touch on healthcare in Europe and travel insurance. Now as we're all anxiously awaiting updates to know what travel opportunities we might have this year, it's really important. Um, my previous update I talked about passport validity so you can go back to that update if you want to check on that. Um, but today I wanted to talk about healthcare in Europe. So the EHIC card, so the European Health Insurance Card, is actually um, still valid if you're travelling in, in an EU country. There are exceptions to that. I'm going to pop a link to a, a blog um, in the comments so that you can have a little read of what those countries are. And obviously it's worth checking on each country and each destination you travel to. But the key is that it is still valid. The EHIC card is still valid in the majority of countries. The exception potentially of Norway, Switzerland, Iceland and Liechtenstein, where the EU rules changed for from the 1st of January. So an EHIC card does give you a level of cover, but it would never replace um, where I would totally and wholeheartedly recommend that you have a full comprehensive travel insurance cover. So travel insurance cover should cover you for before you travel, any cancellation, any medical expenses whilst you're away and also any personal medical conditions. So that's always worth checking that your current policy is up to date with any current medical conditions. Um, I can help with providing travel insurance quotes if it's required or just to check with your own travel insurance cover that it does cover you fully for the destination you're traveling to, your medical um, condition for you and everybody in your party and also any activities that you're going to undertake. So especially at the moment there's lots of extra bits to consider with regards to the COVID-19 cover so various policies will cover you for things like receiving a positive diagnosis within so many days before travel, what medical expense cover that provides you with whilst you're away, um, also repatriation and uh, extra areas of the cover like that. So European health insurance cards are still valid. There are also the new UK issued EHIC cards are also available to certain people. Again, the information I'll pop in the link below. Um, for example, a UK student uh, studying in the EU, um, just as an example. So they're still valid for that. But they, they, are, they are still around, but we, I do recommend that you have a fully comprehensive travel insurance to travel with not just rely on the EHIC cards and to check to check the cover which of course I can help with and so that's my top tip for today for getting ready to travel when we can.